Hey y'all, what's going on? Take a look at that Cheesecake 2024. Yes, indeed. Thank y'all for tuning in. Now, what we're going to do today is a Cookie Monsters Cheesecake. Yes, indeed. Cookie Monsters Cheesecake. It's blue like Cookie Monster, and we use Oreo cookies to make the cheesecake, so why not? I don't know what was going through my mind on this day. I just felt like being creative, and blue just stood out. We obtained this blue by using some blue food coloring. That's how we did it. I mixed it in, as you see, with the cream cheese itself. That's two blocks of cream cheese, and the food coloring is already added into it. That cream cheese is at room temperature, so I was able to mesh in, emulsify that uh, food coloring inside of that cream cheese quite easily. Now, I have gloves on. Make sure when you're dealing with food coloring, you have you some gloves. You do not want to have baking soda, vinegar, and everything else to get this off your hands and from underneath your nails, okay? Just a tidbit. Now, if you want to, you can do what you want. But now, I added in a dash of vanilla and a cap full of vanilla. Now, we're adding in a third cup of heavy cream. Now, heavy cream is an optional thing. I choose to add heavy cream because it helps with the smooth, velvety consistency of it. Two-thirds cup of milk. Two-thirds cup of milk is normally required for the amount that I'm using right here, okay? Now, yes, I can use a mixer. I can use some fancy kitchen gadgets because I'm a chef and I do have that equipment here at home. But I want to keep people encouraged. I want to do it the way my grandma did it, and I also want to do it the way that some people have to do it. Everybody doesn't have that fancy equipment, okay? So it took me about, maybe about eight minutes to whisk all of this goodness into a certain type of consistency that I was looking for before I started to incorporate all the other ingredients with inside of this, okay? So just go ahead and keep whisking, keep whisking. You'll get the job done. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and drop these eggs in. That's two jumbo size eggs. They asked for large, but I had jumbo in my refrigerator and I wasn't going to the store to get no large eggs, so I used jumbo and one egg yolk too as well. So we're gonna whisk that in. And what we like to do now is we like to incorporate all of our moist, soft, or liquid ingredients first. Or what you could do is incorporate your dry ingredients first. Okay, so now we used a cup of sugar in this mix right here, okay? Now, this sugar is going to go ahead and blend on in. We're going to blend it in. We're going to whip it in. If you want to use less sugar, by all means, use less sugar, okay? But recommendation, about a cup, three-fourths of a cup. Now, I'm adding flour, a third cup of flour. I am using all-purpose flour. Do not, I repeat, do not use self-rising flour. Do not use self-rising flour. You will make a mess because this is a baked New York-style cheesecake made by a southerner. Somebody in the deep south that is in the state of Texas, the great state of Texas. That is where I'm located making a New York-style cheesecake. We got the consistency we're looking for. Look at that blue. It's matching the Oreo pack. That blue matches the Oreo pack. Yes, indeed. Y'all saw that. Okay? So now what we're about to do now is we're taking this cream filling out of the Oreos. We're sitting it to the side. It has another purpose. All right? Got the Oreos in the bowl. We're going to go ahead and mash them up. Yes, I can once again use a food processor, but I choose not to. I had a biscuit dough ring, so I'm going to have a biscuit cutter ring, so I'm going to cut. I'm going to use that. Oh, well, I got a fork now. I'm going to use a fork. Well, you know what? I mean, whatever I got, I got a spoon. Do I have to use all these different things? No, I'm just showing you. You can use different methods. Crumble it up with your hands and use what you have. Add some graham cracker crumbs to it so that consistency will be right. Butter. I got to put the butter in there. Go ahead and mix it up with your hands. Mix that butter in real good. Make sure it's right, okay? The graham crackers, in my personal opinion, keep the Oreos 
from burning and it also keeps the Oreo crust from hardening too much. This is my personal culinary outtake for my years of experience in the kitchen, all right? Now, we put some prep spray inside of that pan and we added a tablespoon of sugar inside of that. Now, we're gonna press all this down. We wanna make sure it's pressed evenly. We want it to be smooth. We don't want hills and valleys in our crust, okay? That's the Oreo filling. But right now, I'm gonna take that prep, put some more in there. This is the second cheesecake I'm doing. I'm doing two, all right? And I'm using that pan to press it. Press it down, make it smooth, smooth. That's exactly how we want it to look. Y'all see how smooth that is? It looks like a granite, some sort of granite countertop or something. Ooh, drop it. Look at that drip. Look at that drip, drip, drip. That is some nice drip. That blue is popping, okay? That's just my personal opinion. You can do it whatever color you want to do. Trust me, this would work great for a catering event. This would work great for a birthday party of all ages. This would work great just to surprise your family, friends, whoever. They would appreciate you going out of your way just by using a little bit of food coloring or the amount that you decide you want to use in your dish. Yes, it's safe for you to use. It is food safe. The food coloring is food safe and this is what we have right here. All right, y'all, let's get on to the sauce now, okay? I used a quarter stick of butter. Wait, 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 is that is that the parchment paper from the butter sitting in the pan? It sure is the parchment paper. That's heavy cream and we got our Oreos and we got some vanilla extract too. Okay, I'm pulling that out. I want every drip drop of my butter that I paid for, okay? Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know the economy we live in, okay? Two-thirds of heavy cream we adding in there, okay? Y'all don't have to put the paper in there if y'all don't want to and get every drop of butter, okay? We put a third cup of milk, a dash, okay, a vanilla extract. Now, we're going to crumble up those Oreos and we're going to drop them. Now, the heat is on high. Now, I'm cutting the heat down. The heat's cut down right there. I cut the heat down, all right? And I'm going to whisk this in, whisk this in, whisk this in. But I also have to crumble these Oreos up. Put the Oreos in there, okay? All right, we're going to get the Oreos in there. We're going to whisk that up. Take your time, but make sure you keep whisking. Now, if you get it and it's too thick like this, just pour some more milk or some cream, whatever you have in your refrigerator. Use what you have. Utilize all the resources that are available to you at the current moment in time, okay? It's not about you going to spend any extra money. That would thin it out, okay? Now, what do we have? Oh, this is fresh out the oven right here. Cookie Monsters New York style cheesecake made by Texas. Yes, I'm not saying I make the best cheesecake. New York style cheesecake, it, it implies itself. New York, okay? Yeah, there we go. All right, y'all, let's run down the bake process of the crust. I had the oven set at 375. I cooked that crust for about 8 to 10 minutes. I pulled that crust out. When I pulled the crust out the oven, I immediately cut the oven temperature to 325. 325 is what I cooked the cheesecake at for 45 minutes. I monitored the cheesecake. The cheesecake came out to perfection as you see right here. I want to thank y'all for taking the time to watch. I ask y'all to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to share with your family and friends. And thanks, y'all. And subscribe, y'all.